Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Made a Tea. I'm Maida, and I am doing another update. So, um, something that I noticed about my inkjet printer, also, by the way, hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I have a new design to share, also, and yeah. But something I've noticed about my inkjet printer is that it prints. It doesn't, it's not streaking. I don't really know what to call it. You probably cannot see it, um, no matter how close I try to get this. But it prints these lines going across this way, and they seem to be yellow and they fade up. Um, I don't know, not know how close or how far away I need to have this in order for it to even be visible. I don't know how visible it is. Um, I think that there is a bit of, you can kind of see where it might begin and end, um, especially on this one. This one, it kind of flubbed up super duper. And I think I've determined that it's my sticker paper. Um, so as I am testing sticker paper and everything like that, um, I am finding, um, even though this sticker paper that I really like is super good quality, um, it is waterproof. I have these on my water bottle um, and they're staying really well, um, that ink sticking to them like that, or I don't know if it's, if it is like the paper is thicker and so the printer is like dragging as it goes or what it's doing, I don't know. Um, but when I print it on a different kind of sticker paper and this looks glossy because I used the, um, a vinyl sheet that I pressed over it before cutting it and then cut out the pieces, um, which still need to replace my blade because it's really choppy up here at the top. Um, but Michael's is out of blades, go figure. So this though, um, printed nicer onto this, what's behind this vinyl. And it's not like overly apparent. Also, you can see I printed, I changed his color completely. I think I mentioned that in one of the other ones, changed it totally change the background design also from this color with the little sparkles on it to um this might actually be the one that's like up for sale minus the purple version but um they're cute <laughs> but the thing is is i put one or two of these on my water bottle and i tested it not waterproof so of course they wouldn't be i didn't really expect them to be but i was like oh, i'll give it a shot you know, the ink has worn off. Um, I think I ran it underwater one time. And then I like to drink icy cold beverages, um, like ice with a little bit of water, straight up. Not messing around with that. Um, and I look today, and I don't even know actually, it's behind me, hang on. Fortunately. So, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad um so here's the dogs and those are the stickers that are and also these guys right these are the, this is the sticker paper that I like this is what happened to my pumpkin so you can see water got behind it or underneath of it probably maybe even just from condensation on my cold cold water bottle um it's still sticking surprisingly still sticking but the ink has of course washed out so not not overly an option I guess um maybe it would work maybe those that sticker set because I think that's like um I think I have like 50 to 100 pages of that kind of sticker paper that it would probably work fine for um like bullet journaling or something like that which I might design stickers for that I'm myself just getting into bullet journaling so It'll be a little while before I figure it all out. We'll see. Um, anyway, so I think I have more paper test to test coming soon. Of course, I need to get the, the replacement blade first. Um, kind of a priority, but I will get there eventually. Um, this next thing is the bookmark um, or an example of a bookmark that I um I'm hoping to be able to send out with any orders that I get and I thought that it turned out pretty cute um 
I don't know if I printed it in brown or black ink though. So I think it could probably show up a little bit better. Uh, it shows up really nicely and it is a, a very nice little um, thing. Although this one is not going into a package because it's a little flubbed up. It was my first time trying out the cutter that I have. I hope you guys can hear me over my air conditioning. <laughs> but it was my first time trying out the cutter and that's a cat. Oh, she's in a box. Okay, I was like, what in the world? I'm sorry, ADHD. Um, so this is actually a sticker that um, I just kind of drew up like a little, um, it's supposed to be a daisy. And um, so I just drew up like the outline and it has some little like shading lines and stuff like that too. And then I'd write like a thank you note down here. Um, so this could just be a bookmark. Um, and I was hoping to include that with any orders that I get. Um, yeah. Eventually we'll get there. Dusk is enjoying a box. <laughs> we got an order, a shipment in today, just of cleaning supplies and she loves boxes that orange cat i gave her a bath yesterday that cat sheds so much the little orange tabby she's a medium hair she's she's sheds if i can speak correctly she sheds so 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 much i bathe her um probably like once every two months to try to keep the shedding down and i actually have the deferminator brush i think is what it's called and I try to do that once a week with her because she hates it. She, I think that the the, um, the metal brush bits that are on it like hurt her because she's only a medium hair and I probably got a long haired version of it because I have Ash who is a long hair and it doesn't bother Ash. Ash actually loves to be brushed, um, which is nice because she's a long haired cat. Strangely, she doesn't shed as much, she, so it's like, she doesn't need it like Dusk does, but I bathed Dusk and I went to go take a shower today. I didn't, I didn't even, because I bathed her and then I took her outside after that because it's, it's relatively sunny. We had some rain, so the, um, the like smoke and haze has kind of gone away, um, which has been great for me to be able to breathe again. But I went to take a shower and it was covered in this layer of orange fur the drain is like full of orange fur I was like oh no but everything is okay <laughs> so far I haven't had any backup issues or anything like that and so fingers crossed that stays that way um I'd love it if I could take her outside and like give her a bath outside in the hose but she is a rather talkative cat when it comes to baths um, neither of them talk actually terribly much, but they do definitely like to yell at you for bathing them. So, um, anyway, back to this. So I do have new stickers. I decided to go ahead and do, um, since I did the dog design, which I should have here next to me. Yeah. Since I have the little doggo designs and I did these guys here, I decided to go ahead and do some cat um, stickers too. So I haven't printed them. Um, I have only, um, I only have them on the computer because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the ink and the paper. And also there's no point right now because I don't have a blade to cut them out, even if I could. Um, but let me turn this around and I will see if I can show you guys. So this should be the finished sheet. I tried to get in a couple of different cat breeds in there, just like with the dogs. So they shouldn't be the same. Um, and a lot of them are actually, I grew up on a farm, so a lot of them are kind of based on cats that I've had before. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. I know the screens are usually kind of weird. But I like this one, it's just a little Siamese cat. Um, of course, you've got like an orange tabby. Um, this one's based on Ash. This is the kind of style on her face that she's got. Um, this is supposed to look like a Scottish fold, but I think this one looks the most like a dog out of all of them. 
Um, <laughs> so I kind of feel silly. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I try to do like a calico or maybe this is like a calico. Um, you got a gray tabby. Um, so yeah, just a, just a few different breeds. And then this is always what it looks like. It's, um, what I do is not terribly complicated. I actually start off with, I can make these two disappear. I start off with the star base and then I wonder if I have it under the dogs one. From there, yeah, I do. Okay. So from the base, I'll actually draw on separately the like faces and stuff that I want. So I keep this layer like separate. Um, and then after that, I'll combine those two layers and do this. So once I combine the two layers, uh, before I do that, I'll erase where the star is and everything, um, where I want like the ears to connect or like this one here, I had to erase parts of the star here, um, anywhere where like the ears might come over them. And I will then um, select with the wand tool the outside of this. So if I just, I'll just do that for you guys real quick. Okay. Also, I have this layer locked. I don't know if you can see it over here, it's locked. Um, so that I can color the, the outlines of the stars on their own. And I just use the paint bucket tool for that. I leave their faces a dark color. So I, I um, select like this and I have it on contiguous. So it's only selecting anything that's not blocked off by lines. Um, so if I had a gap and it was going into the star, I'd know I needed to close one of those lines up. And I'll go up here to select, and then I'll expand this selection by usually about three pixels. It depends on what size brush. Um, for this one, I had a brush that did not change its size, locked in at like an eight. And then I got these finer points on their ears and stuff like that by doing um, erasing. So if you ex expand that, you can see it's tightened up a little bit around the edges, and then I'll just do an inverse. And once I've done that, I create a new layer and I fill the bottom layer. And on that bottom layer, I do all the coloring. So all, all of the coloring <laughs> is on one layer. And since I'm not doing anything shading or anything like that, it's really simple. This is just what I end up with. Um, and so it's the same way on the cats, except I deleted all the layers as I went when I did the cats just because I figured it out when I was doing it with the dogs and I thought that was enough. So yeah, so it's same deal. Cats get colored on the bottom. Top layer is locked also and I lock both the layers and then I can color freely without going outside of it. And I just color them in um, and then you get this. So and I add the stroke effect. I do the stroke effect Sometimes, sometimes I decide to, you know, hand draw it on the outside. And yeah, that is that. So hopefully these um, I'll be able to release soon or put up soon um, on my shop. And hopefully that'll go well. Um, I should have had another set of paper coming to me today. Um, but it did not arrive with everything else. So I've got tissue paper now and I have mailers. So I'm like ready to send stuff off. Um, the one upsetting thing, which you're not really gonna be able to see it in this because you can hardly even see that I've stuck a sticker on here because it's supposed to be clear. It's slightly frosted, um, which isn't a terrible deal. It's sticking on here really, like really well actually. Um, but I'd be afraid because you can kind of tell that there's a slight difference in color when you look at it closely, probably not on camera, um, that it has this frosted look. So it lightens it a little bit where the sticker is on there, which isn't a, it's not a huge deal, but I'll get to go through my clear sticker paper. That was the point of the clear sticker paper was to do something like that and it'll give me something else to do and I can hand cut that so um I don't have to worry about my blade for that one um maybe there's a way to sharpen that blade I have no idea 
but I'll have to figure it out. Um, anyway, I think that's kind of it for this video. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I might do like a cost budgeting type of thing if people are interested in that because there sure is a lot that goes into it. Um, and as I'm like pricing things and having to consider how much the stuff costs that I'm buying, um, it is something that's on my mind. And so yeah, if anybody's curious on that side of things, I'd be more than happy to put together a video on that. And hopefully next time I will have two new types of paper that I can try printing and cutting on and tell you guys how they work. Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. So I will see you guys later. Um, check the links below if there be any, if I should remember to do so. I've been pretty good about it. And I think I'm going to keep vlogging like this. Um, not going to lie. I don't know if I have time to have a full-time job and also edit videos. So your girl is probably going to keep it simple like this. I feel like I can be more like direct and just straightforward and give you guys the information. And I, I don't have to edit. I don't think I require any cool transitions or anything like that. We'll see. Who knows where this thing is going to go. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.